guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a first impression review on a new product from Marcel. It's actually two new products and they're both designed to help protect our skin against environmental stressors. And I'm going to be learning more about environmental stressors and how they affect our skin because I honestly don't know too much. I know we have air pollution, UV rays, and that is not good for our skin, but I'm going to find out specifically why. One of them is their City Tinted Cream, and then they also have their City Concealer. I'm really excited to be working with them on this video to demonstrate these and do one of my first impressions. If you want to see more about these two products and how they help protect our skin, then just keep watching. I'm going to demonstrate both in a first impression, one of my first impression videos for you guys. They sent along two of their tinted creams for me to try. I have the shade Fair and Light to Medium. I will be swatching both of them for you so you can see the undertone and how they compare to my skin and which one might better match you if you are similar to my coloring. I'm going to start off with light to medium because I know that's going to be closest to my skin. And this says to apply on cleansed face before exposure to sun. Can be worn alone or as a makeup base. So I'm going to put it on first and I'm also going to try some foundation over top just because it says you can use this as a makeup base. This is a tinted cream. It is supercharged with antioxidants, green tea, aloe, and chamomile. It protects your skin from environmental stressors and it also offers immediate and long-term hydrating benefits, provides anti-dull radiant complexion, and tightens your pores. This also has an SPF of 25, which protects against sunburn. I think this is going to be a great makeup base for me specifically because it has that pore tightening quality, which you guys know I personally look for in a primer. And it also has SPF, which I also like as well. So this sounds like it's going to be really good as a base. However, it has enough coverage that you can use this on its own. So it just depends on your lifestyle, what you want to do. But you guys know I like a full coverage look. So I'm going to be using it both ways to demonstrate. I'm going to get a little bit closer so you can see how this applies to my skin. As you can see, I have a little bit of discoloration around my mouth. I have a few blemishes on my face. We're going to see if this covers. And as I said, I'm going to start off with the light to medium because I feel that will be a better match for me. I do have a little bit of self tan on. So this might be a little bit too light, but we can always bronze up and make it work. And I'm also going to be trying it under a foundation as well. Typically with products like this, I do like to use my fingers to apply. With any kind of primer product, that's how I personally like to use it. You can use a brush, sponge, anything that you like to use. I do personally like to use my fingers. The consistency is really nice. So as you can see, it has pretty decent coverage, which I like. Apply a little bit more to go on my forehead. That's one light layer of the product. And I like the finish of it. It has a nice radiance to it. It says it does combat dull skin and I really do think it did that. It gave me a nice healthy glow. And for any kind of spots I have on my skin that I want a little bit more coverage underneath my eyes and then for my lids where I have a lot of veining as you can see that I'm going to try out the City Concealer. I have two shades right here, haven't opened them yet. I have Fair and Light to Medium to match the tinted creams. I'm just going to go ahead and open these. The Marcel City Concealer claims to instantly conceal dark circles, puffiness, and imperfections. It's also enriched with vitamin C and E, which are antioxidants. Plus it has, pardon my mispronunciation, bizobolo, which is a soothing effect. I'll put that word on the screen. I've never heard of it before. It's supposed to soothe the skin. As I said, I have two shades here. I'm actually going to play around with both. I'm going to see how fair looks underneath my eyes. I do have some darkness in my inner corners and my eyes sink in a bit, as you can see right there. So I like to use a lighter concealer to try and brighten and lift up that area. So I'm going to go ahead and use Fair. If it's a little too fair, I'm going to mix in the light to medium. And doesn't this packaging take you back? I haven't seen a concealer in a lipstick packaging like this forever. <laughs> I remember when I was really young, one of the first concealers I purchased like this, and I thought it was a lipstick. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> so this takes me back. I hope that this is creamy because since it's under the eyes, I really want it to be creamy. And it definitely is, it's not stiff. We're going to start off with about that much. 
see if I need to build it up. And then I'm going to take a damp beauty sponge and just lightly blend it out. You can also use your finger, but because I have such long nails, I don't want to poke out my eye. So I'm just going to blend this out. I would say this is a medium coverage, just like the tinted cream. It's not full coverage. So if you have a lot of darkness, you'll definitely need to layer it up. I'm going to try and add a little bit more just to see how it layers. As I said, I like that bright under eye effect. I just want to make sure this is buildable. And any excess product, I like to just take and put on my eyelids just to cancel out all that discoloration and veining I have because I do have quite a bit. And it does a good job at canceling that out. I think that definitely helped brighten up that under eye area, which I like. And I'm going to take the light to medium shade and I have a little bit of redness, as you can see right there. I'm just going to use this to cover up any area that I feel just needs a little extra coverage. I have a little bit of rosiness on my cheeks. I get hormonal redness around my nose. And then I have a couple blemishes on my chin I just want to conceal. That definitely adds more coverage in those areas. It's a nice way to keep your skin looking natural by just concealing the areas which you need that extra coverage. Then you have a more natural appearance to the skin. So this is a great everyday kind of foundation. If you're a mommy like myself and need something quick on the go or if you just need something quick in general. It feels like it hydrated my skin because I do have dry skin. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all. And because it does have SPF in it, I actually wanted to do a flash test to see if there's any flash pack if you happen to use this on a day where you're taking photos. I always like to do flash tests in my first impression, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I actually don't feel like there was any flashback, though I do feel like the color is a little bit light compared to my chest because I do have some fake tan on. That is easily corrected. I can just bronze up my face because I do like that highlighted center, so that's not an issue for me. And now I just wanted to see the claim as it as a makeup base because looking at it right now, I do feel like it doesn't emphasize pores. Like my pores definitely do seem a little bit smaller. Very undetectable on the skin, so if you're looking for something very natural, it just gives you that natural glow. I feel like my skin looks pretty youthful in this actually. I do love how it looks as is, surprisingly, since I mostly use full coverage. However, I did want to test the claim of it as a makeup base, so I'm going to put on just a little bit of foundation on top to see if it's buildable. This is the Marcel Flawless Skin Fusion Foundation, which I love. I have the shade Medium Beige. So I'm just going to pop on a little bit of that and just see how it builds up. So I'm not having any issue of this going over top or building or looking cakey. It just kind of melts in with it, which is nice. Definitely going to be a new base of mine because it has that pore tightening quality but also has that SPF, which I don't think I have a pore primer that also has SPF. So that's a little bit exciting for me. As you can see from my skin, the foundation didn't cling on to any areas. It really melted into the skin and built up easily over top of the City Tinted Cream and also the concealer if you wanted to spot conceal prior to adding some foundation. Now I'm just going to go off camera, finish off the rest of my face, come back, and then I'm going to participate in the City Challenge and learn a little bit more about external stressors on the skin and how these help protect our skin. So I'm excited to learn a little bit more, so I'll be back in two seconds, hopefully. I am back, I just finished off my face, added some mascara, lip product, and I set my concealer. I did find when I was finishing off my makeup that the concealer was settling into some fine lines. So you do have to set this concealer, also it will start creasing a little bit. That's what I found with this. In terms of price, they are offering a special promotion. I have a link in the description box which takes you to a page that looks like this. And you get $5 off any purchase of any of the Marcel City products. So originally the tinted cream is $19.95.
However, you can get it for $14.95 during this special launch offer. And the concealer is normally $9.95 and you can get it for $4.95 during the special launch offer. And they also have an option where if you prefer to buy these products in stores, you can print off your $5 coupon online right here. Now I'm going to do the My City Shield Challenge. They have a bunch of questions listed here and if you press the little plus sign, it opens up and gives you an answer. So I'm going to try and answer these the best of my ability. So during this challenge, I'm definitely going to learn something. So what is air pollution? I know that air pollution is something we can't see. It definitely has an effect on our bodies and is not good for us in terms of a definition. Air pollutants are mainly toxic microparticles which are derived from exhaust gases produced by industrial activities. They cause day after day micro inflammations that weaken the skin's barrier. What are the impacts of pollution on the skin? From that previous question, I obviously know that it weakens the skin's barrier in terms of specifics. Pollution causes the skin to become much more sensitive, dry, and prone to the appearance of redness. Skin complexion becomes duller and pores dilate. In addition, pigmentations and aggravation of acne appear in dry to oily skin types. So this has been formulated. Everything that we found out prior, this kind of combats that. So the pore size, any kind of dullness or redness, this is going to correct that and help create a barrier against any kind of impacts of pollution. Next question, what are environmental stressors? I know there is air pollution and UV, and their answers are air pollution, extreme temperatures, artificial light, which I'm happening to use a lot of when I film, UV rays, cigarette smoke, and exhaust fumes are all environmental stressors. What are the effects of environmental stressors on my skin? Just due to the nature of the claims of that product, I can guess that it's going to create redness, what we've learned before with acne, and any kind of dull complexion issue. They say that it jeopardizes the skin health when our skin is exposed to many of the forms of environmental stressors. We age more quickly and it's shown signs of fatigue. I definitely feel like this has awakened my complexion. It makes me look a little bit more youthful, I think. True or false, poor environmental conditions increase sebum production. By the nature of the question, I'm going to guess true. <laughs> true, test results from a study on the effects of pollution to the skin demonstrate that poor environmental conditions increase sebum production. And then true or false, pollution is only present in urban areas, and I'm going to say false. I know that it's everywhere. However, I do think that it's more prevalent in a city only because of the amount of exhaust fumes and things like that. I just think that it's going to be higher there. What they say, although pollution is present in a lower concentration than urban areas, it is also present in rural areas, just as I thought. And the increasing use of wood-fired heating systems in rural areas results in fine particle air pollution. And that is the test. I don't think I did too bad. I obviously didn't know everything there is to know about environmental stressors, the pore size, redness, and all that stuff. I didn't think it had such an impact. So I have personally learned some information just from doing this video with Marcel. So I'm really happy to do this and help raise awareness with Marcel to demonstrate that there are environmental stressors and we can take some steps to help protect our skin. This is definitely going to help protect UV rays and with all the ingredients inside, it's going to help create that layer to help protect against damages that are out there that we can't visually see. Sometimes I think we often forget about it, like I do. I don't really think about what's in the air because I can't see the damage it's doing, but it is doing some damage. So I hope this has helped raise some awareness to you out there. If you happen to check out the product, there is a link and also a coupon that expires May 31st. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Wow.